and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and today we're going to be unboxing another Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly box. This one is the fourth lessons box. Cannot remember which lessons are supposed to be in here but I'm so excited and so ready to jump on into this. I've been staring at this box for like two days. So plus I gotta make it a little bit quick because I just ordered food and it is on its way. So, whoop. here is the box covering up the packing, the tracking slip thingy. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, when you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. On top is the disguised spoiler sheet. So I'm just going to drop that down there. And then here's your sneak peek. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is a wand permit. Teeny tiny one, let's see. Wand details, wood. I have no idea what kind of wood that's supposed to be. Flexibility, resolute, core, dragon heartstring, length 12 inches, and it's got some Instagram handles. Let's see. At Wind, Windmere Wand Shop. I'm going to guess that's who makes a wand. Oh, there's a wand in here. So that's pretty cool. First item we have. Oops, that's on my cord. First item we have is a wand. Just a basic wooden wand. Definitely still nice though. I really like that one. Nice feel. Looks a little bit stubby, but I like it. Okay, next item. We have a feather. My guess is that this has got something to do with Wingardium Leviosa. So I'm thinking maybe one of the lessons for this box is charms. Oh god, wiggly worms. Let me see if I can get my drink. And let's see if I can get this next item out without getting Wiggly worms absolutely everywhere. Okay. Next item is the t-shirt. Dang it, wormies. Okay, here is the t-shirt. What's it say? What's it look like? Let's see. Germs Club. Okay, so that's cool. I like that and I'm of course a fan of a black tee. This one seems a lot bigger than most. I mean, I normally get a 2X two, because I like them baggy anyway, but it um, seems baggier than the last couple of them, but that's okay. Next up, oop, missing my cord again. Okay, next up, ugh, lights out lavender sleep lotion. This all natural relaxing lavender sleep lotion will help you to extinguish the lights without having to use your wand. So just a little bottle of lotion by Alchemy for the Skin. Great company. Love their stuff. Next up, we have a little beauty rubber ducky. This is obviously referring to where Arthur Weasley asks Harry now, Harry, what, is, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Absolutely love that, that uh, scene in the movie. So, little rubber duck. So, I'm going to say the other lesson is non-magical studies. Next up, we've got the pen. Ooh. This pen is a hand with a wand and... There are birds all around it. Not really sure what it's meant to be just yet, but that pen is gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Next item is Dueling Club Champion. This looks like it's gonna be like a, uh, the necklace thing. Oh my God, I cannot think of words today. So next we have the Dueling Club Champion. It's like a, like one of those, it's like the, 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 oh my God. It's like a medal on a ribbon. Wow, that took me 
entirely too long to come up with. But that is really cool. That's going to have to hang up somewhere. Not sure where yet, but definitely going to find a place. Next item is, looks like a little notepad. It says, Janice Thickery Ward Memory Charm Notepad. I really hope that's what I said, but I don't know. So just a lined, lined memo pad. Probably got about 25-ish pages. So pretty cool. I always, always, always love notepads. You, I can never have enough, even when I'm sure I probably actually do have enough. But next item is in this cute little velvety sack. It is a, ooh, 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 the potion. It says Auxilium Elixir, maybe, no idea. It says, give your spellcasting ability a little boost Pure by, uh, by Pure Blood Apothecary. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it's going to be one of those where you shake it. Let's see. Ooh, and it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pure Bullet Apothecary does some amazing potions. Most of them have that little swirly effect. I absolutely love it. And it's sealed, so you're not going to leak. Looks like we got two more, three more items. Next up is this little box. And when you open up this little box... Uh... Oh, cool! It's one of those little, uh, little flexible flashlights, and it says Lumos on it. So I'm going to take that off. Um, it's not working. So maybe it's just a bad battery. Maybe it's the uh, tab broke off partially or something. I don't know. I'll take a look at it and figure it out. So, but it is cool. Definitely be cooler if, you know, I pulled the tab out and it worked, but you know, still a cool product. Next item is a paper replica. Stupid worms, go away! <laughs> okay, next up is the paper replica. It's a Ministry of Magic, Departments of Non-Magical Affairs Investigation Report. The function of a rubber duck. The rubber duck has been a mystery to the wizard kind since it was first discovered. This investigation intends to expose the true function of a rubber duck once and for all. Conclusion. The rubber duck appears to have several uses within the non-magical world, some of which may be of concern. Below are the most relevant uses uncovered by our investigation. One, fill with liquid and squeeze. The bottom liquid will squirt. The liquid will squirt from the bottom of the hole, much like a projectile weapon, a flotation device. Two, a flotation device for small woodland creatures. Three, to alert nearby people of dangerous situations, the duck may be squeezed to emit a duck like sound. Four, when secured under the gap beneath an open door, the rubber duck is a fashionable doorstop. Okay, not really sure how I feel about this. I definitely think it's um, amusing. But, and it's a gorgeous, like, I feel like this is something you would actually see, you know, in a file somewhere. I do feel like it's got a little bit glossy of paper for that. But for it being a collectible item and a paper replica, it totally makes sense. But yes, definitely, definitely love it. It's got the Ministry of Magic, um logo watermark on the back so that is cool now the last item is the always much anticipated book cover made by danny with um with wizardry workshop maybe i don't remember i'm slightly confused on the, what the name of his etsy store is but anyway without further ado i will unveil this it would help if I unveiled it the correct way. Look at that foiling though. Oh my gosh, amazing. Now this one is designed to fit on 
the American First Edition of the Goblet of Fire. This one is amazing. My Goblet of Fire book has not yet arrived, so I will have to be taking a picture of this a little bit later and putting it on there. I might insert it in this video. I might not. I have not decided yet. It also just depends on when it gets here. Because at the time of filming, it is two days before Christmas. Shipping is terribly delayed. And I have no idea where 90% of my packages are. So that's what's going on in my life right now. But if y'all like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comment section down below. What was your favorite product? What would you like to see more of? Do you absolutely love the foiling on these things? I mean, come on now. Amazing. And he does such a great job. I mean, he's, and he's got so much going on. Like, not even kidding. He is working with so many different people, doing so many different things, but he is completely amazing. I swear. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to keep it magical, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.